Hello, welcome back to Rick's Kits. Little delight here. <coughs> no box. This is now part of the Airfix Vintage Classics collection. And uh, I managed to pick this little bag up for £4.99. Here's a DUKW or the GMC DUKW353. Uh, there's no decals either, so a bit unfortunate. Went on to Scalemates and downloaded the uh, uh, destructions for it. Get those aside. You can see it is literally four steps. Uh, there's a little driver in here as well. That's bit of a bonus. Um, oh, let's see where we get on. I think I'm gonna just gonna have to make this a universal uh, American version. Uh, I will need to find a echo there. American star. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay. So this is sort of what we've got at the moment. Uh, a couple of things I need to point out on the instructions. Uh, sp specifically in step one. I'm going to fold this over a little bit. So make it easier to hold. Um, so what we're looking at on step one is this, this is for you to keep an eye out on yourselves. Um, you got this tub here, which this piece here, right? Now, if you look at the arrow pointing down to the lower lower chassis deck, it says fix it here. Um, you can't. There's nowhere for it to go. So on closer study, and I'll I'll show you where it actually goes. Right, now, number 11, which is the back end, uh, it's telling you to fix it according to this arrow on the back end of the tub. Um, again, no, because it, see that cutout there, that corresponds with the cutout which goes on the back end of here. So, here, <clears throat> you see is that cut out area there. So it sits across the back. Doesn't sit, doesn't sit on the back of the tub. It sits across the back of the boat. So that's a bad arrow. That, sh that should have been should have been hashed really because uh, that's pointing inside the tub the same as the other one is pointing down into where it's not supposed to go so yeah look out for this bit so as you can see on here we've got these pin well i say pins these are actually the bomb the bomb end of the uh, canvas cover so this is the bottom end of the frames for the canvas cover on both sides and there's a tiny little bit of a lip that runs down each side so bear in mind that that thing is showing you gluing it inside there no it doesn't it, what it will do is when you get it trimmed up nicely it actually sits on the outside of the top lip. Let me get it in focus. Right, move that out. Look at my my focus then. See it? It's on that lip, which is this, this lip here. It's very small, very small point of contact. That's just a thing to look out for. See? You 
probably when gluing you might need to squeeze the sides in a little bit just so you can get it to sit on there properly but that's it yeah so look out for that it doesn't sit inside it sits on the top on the outside and this back end sits on the top I need to do a little bit of trimming up because there's a bit of work there uh, there's not much flash on it but it's enough to keep you going see you in a bit Hello, welcome back. Right, I've got a finished item for you. This is the DUKW uh, 176 scale, I think it is. Uh, Airfix kit. Uh, if you remember rightly at the start, I said there was there was no box, no no instructions, and no decals. Uh, I printed the instructions off, and I managed to procure myself some decals. Uh, funny enough, I had um, American decals, and as you can see, they are 156 scale. Well, 156 scale suits this one to a T, to be nice with you. The American star on the front is about the right size for what is there. And we've even got the old USA number on the side uh, and a bit of license with these I've put a bit of uh, brown cord on the side I've left the side skirts from the wheels off yeah and let me just say she's done Machine gun and everything is done. It is actually, it's quite a nice little kit. Once you clean it up properly, it, it all fits together properly. A quick butch underneath. All the swim gear. The pedal at the back. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Come out as I expected. Well, they're good, isn't it? Well, I seem to think. So, job done. Oh, killed it. Thanks to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. I certainly appreciate you all. And I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.